this delivery marks the start of probably the most exciting video I've ever planned. I know some of you are going to be asking why has Jamie got an F25? Everybody knows he uses an S36, 36mm legs, lovely lime green. Why would I potentially downgrade to an F25? 25mm, nice light compact box. This is the start of probably the most exciting video I've ever planned. All will be revealed in the video about why I've switched to a box like this along with several other changes to my kit. But like I say, I don't want to say too much about that now. Very exciting times. I think we've even got a nice little sexy drawer unit. Oh, look at this, all the brand spanking new. This is the drawer unit, which will be a key part, a key part to the story, a key part to my actual fishing in the video. Look at that, even comes supplied with the dividers. That's it, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna say any more about that video. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy it when it's all put together. I'm still in the planning stage. I haven't gone out and filmed it yet. I'm incredibly excited about filming it. I'm incredibly excited about editing it. So that's surely gotta be a recipe for a successful video. So I'm gonna be even more excited to deliver it to you guys for you to see in a few weeks time. Okay, let's get on with tonight's video. As you know, it's the last one of the month. It's the 31st of January. 30 other videos you've all enjoyed this month. Can't believe it, how quick it's gone. It's February tomorrow. The year is flying already. So tonight, I've got a few things I just want to cover. Firstly, some questions have come in today. So there's only about three or four. So I'll quickly fire through those just to help you guys out that sent them in. So let's crack on. Four quick questions in four minutes. Well the first question today was really about nuisance fish and about how I combat the problems with nuisance fish. By nuisance fish I kind of mean if you're targeting bream and carp and small fish are a problem they get into the bait first. How can you kind of change your approach, change your baits and stuff to try and combat that problem? At this time of year it's not always an issue obviously because bites can be few and far between but it can really be a big issue in summer. One of the things is in my opinion is change the strength of your ground bait some some ground baits that are strong in fish meal can kind of deter smaller fish a little bit or certainly not encourage them which can help you be more selective in the fish that it's actually targeted to the other one is which is quite obvious is increase the size of your hook bait you know if you're fishing two red worms for example and you're getting plagued by small fish just put it to one one large dendrobina or two dendras you know a bigger bait that only bigger fish can get the mouths round Another issue is the baits that you're feeding, if you're feeding live maggot for example or smaller baits sometimes just maggot, caster, even chopped worm can attract lots of small perch and roach and you know if you're not wanting those fish you've obviously got to find a way of getting around that as we're seeing more and more now on commercials but more and more even so on natural venues fish are getting more used to pellets and corn and that sort of bait so obviously that, that could be an avenue to go down. Pellets, micro pellets, feeding pellets and, and, and corn can sometimes just, you know, it's just not interesting to small fish. So that can be another way around it. The key for me is really just kind of think about what they should introduce if you were trying to encourage those smaller fish. And if you can just identify what those are, just make sure you don't include those in your big fish plan. The next question was about a braid and it's an issue that a lot of people have talked about you know it kind of stems into the cost of braid as well I was asked or kind of told that you know one or two people out there thought that the cost of braid was quite expensive in comparison to mono braid the braid that I use which is submerged which when you compare it to monos or a lot or a lot of the monos that are on the market yeah it is quite dear but the key thing is with braid is certainly the submerge anyway is it will last you years and years and years unless you damage it on rocks or, or snags or you get knots in it and all that sort of stuff if you actually look after it it will last you years you know and I, I mean I hear stories that people are still using braid that's 10 and 15 years old 
I haven't done that purely because I've only been using braid for about five years so I know for a fact that I've got braid that's been on my reels and I've used for five years and it's still going strong so when you look at it that way it really shows you how you know economically it is and how much of an investment it is you know and I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning it but Polly Mark Pollard was obviously a matrix angler but he's using braid that you know I spoke to him in Ireland a couple of years ago at the world pairs and I think he said his braid was either 10 or 12 years old and still going strong so I mean an 18 pound investment for something that's going to last you that long how can that be a bad thing I got asked if I actually did manage after the hustle and bustle of feeder masters feeder masters mania did I actually end up with any tickets? Yes, I did. I, I got two online on the evening, well, just after midnight or wherever it was. That one was the Tidal River Trent, and the other one was the River Yare, because they were the only two that were left. And then through the course of the next day, I actually got offered three more, which was incredibly kind of the gentleman who I hope is watching. I know he usually watches. So thank you for them. I'll not name you just in case your mates get jealous. Um, and they were for, I can't even remember now because it's all a blur, Larford, I've got a ticket for Larford, a ticket for Carmel and one for Boston. So that's it, I've got five chances. And the final question really leads me into the second part of this video that I really wanted to tell you about and it's just kind of the shows that are coming up. I've been asked a few times if I'm going to be at any of the angling, angling shows this year. Yes I am, I didn't know until the last couple of days but I am going to be at both of them. So I'm going to be at the Northern Angling Show which is in Manchester and that is at the end of February or towards the end of February Saturday and Sunday I'm going to be there both days and I'm going to be on the Matrix stand really looking forward to it because it's a fantastic opportunity to meet a lot of you guys out there that you know I only kind of communicate with through messages and I very rarely get a chance to see you on the bank and it's a perfect environment you know because I cannot you know all the kit is going to be there for you to have a look at the kind of stuff that I use and the new stuff that's coming out but obviously not just from a, a, a Matrix or Bait Tech point of view there's so many other stands there so you can have a good look around have a look at all the all the bits of kit that are coming out from all the brands all the bait companies and it, you know it really is a nice social event so I'm gonna be at the Northern Angling show on the Saturday and Sunday both days on the matrix stand and then I'm only gonna be at the big one which is down in Farnborough a month afterwards in March I'm only going to be there on the Sunday um, and I will be spending all day on the bait tech stand so we'll be down there we'll have all the new range of ground baits that have just come out and the existing range and a lot of the new hook baits and stuff that you've seen me banging on about on here but we're going to be doing a few demonstrations and things we'll have a few bits of riggy bits you know if anyone wants to talk about rigs we'll just have a look at knots and that sort of thing we're going to have some of the ground baits there already mixed up as well so you can see that sort of thing as you know and as regards the rig thing we're also going to be doing that on the, on the matrix stand at the Northern Angling show as well so there's going to be plenty of bits and bobs to talk about and things that are difficult to kind of deliver to you over the camera like this like knots and things like that they're a little bit diff difficult to film and get the point across whereas face to face in an environment like that you know it's just a really nice opportunity and you can meet the rest of the team as well well it's a bit of a flying visit tonight I must admit I've got lots of planning to do lots of little projects coming on I've got two major projects coming on within the next two months this is the first one and then there's another one that's slightly different but they are going to be if you want to call them feature length videos for you they're not going to be going on any other platform I've made that decision these two videos are going to be for you guys who have supported the channel so so well for you know for the last year or two and so they're going to be free videos they're going to be feature length they're going to be a lot more polished a lot more finished but they're still obviously going to be a little bit quirky and entertaining I hope and hopefully a few surprises along the way so they're coming in the next two months and the last bit I just want to mention is I just want to make you aware of a new competition that's coming up um, in October it's it's an event that's new this year it's gonna be held at Larford Lakes and it's gonna be called well it is called the commercial feeder championship really looking forward to this another exciting event it's feeder only three days and it's going to be an 80 pegger the tickets are on sale right now I don't know how many has been sold but I've just checked 10 minutes ago there are still tickets available if anyone's interested so it's a feeder only competition Lawford Lakes it's about three thousand pounds to the winner and they're paying out the overall top eight there are going to be section prizes throughout all the days 
so obviously there's money to pick up along the way and I understand they're running a super pool as well which the winner would walk away with about an extra 500 pounds those prizes are obviously based on it being an 80 peg sellout so which I'm hoping and I'm sure it will be I'll put the link below for you that just goes straight to the golden reel website which is how you book on you can book on through that website pay there and then and then you've got obviously got your place secured so that's an exciting event for October and let's admit it October is not really an exciting month to be fair it's the back end of the year and it's nice to have a competition like that to focus on just to kind of finish the year so that's really it for tonight I've taken up far too much of your time this month I can't thank you enough for watching all the videos this month obviously it's January is not known for being a very exciting month anyway and I hope these daily vlogs have just kind of helped you bungle your way through it. It's February tomorrow, January has gone, how quick has that gone? I hope you've enjoyed all the videos, really appreciate your feedback, just please comment below, let me know what you think. I've learnt a lot about how frequently you want videos coming on, what subjects they are, what format you want them in and what else I haven't done that you would like to see. So. I can only learn all that from you guys by giving me feedback so thank you so much for that it's been uh, it's been an absolute pleasure I thought it was gonna be harder than it was the reason why it's been a bit easier is because a lot of you have wanted subjects covering here in the tackle room I couldn't exactly have 31 days on the bank could I unless I'd be looking for another job maybe or just packing it in altogether <laughs> So that's it, I'm going to go away now, I'm going to give you a night off tomorrow just to give some of you a chance to catch up on some of the videos you haven't watched. And then if I get some more questions coming in over tonight and tomorrow, I'm sure I can bang in another 4 minute Friday on Friday just to lead you into the weekend. So thanks again for January, you've made it an absolute pleasure this month, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button, it'll keep you up to date with all these new videos now this has just been a stepping stone you know the videos from now on will just keep improving because i know what you want now i've done this experiment i know what you want to see and how you want to see it and how frequently you want to see it so please get subscribed up you'll be kept in the loop with everything thanks for watching i really appreciate it and assuming you're watching this on wednesday evening if not thursday morning it's only two more days to the weekend That's my choice, what I need to be free Still thinking how real love should feel